back to my channel my name is Mary and today I will just gonna update you guys what I've been up to and what I've been busy about through uh, this month I've been busy for a bunch of things and I didn't have a time to film anything or upload something on my channel but here I am again back at it again <laughs> I look so funny um but you guys already saw or watched my mukbang Q&A and I hope you guys enjoyed that video I really have fun time doing it so I probably want to make another one before school starts obviously and there'll be more food and I'm gonna order again and again all right <laughs> so for this video I'm just gonna update you guys what I did throughout this month because I was so busy after I updated you guys about my program um, I had the um, orientation I didn't film anything that I've done throughout the month I was so busy that I didn't even you know like think of filming it um, I had the orientation um, two days after I got my letter same day of the orientation like hours after the orientation um, they already posted all the announcements and all the requirement information that we needed to do on that board the first thing I did was to sign up um, my account on a certain website where um, we're gonna submit all our clinical requirements so I did that and also we have to pay for it so you know I have to pay for it <laughs> and then it was listed down all the requirements that we needed to submit on the website and we have like the deadline so I was just so busy and I was so stressed out because the amount of the time that was given for us to submit all the requirements and the necessary things that we needed to do or something like that so we won't missed it so after that i went ahead and like did the easiest task that i could possibly like just submit it right away and then the next thing was the vaccinations um except for the flu shot because at that time it wasn't um available yet so i needed to make an appointment to my physician and they have to fill it out the physical form that was provided by the um, school. I go through the clinical records that's required. So we actually needed the basic life support card. So like the BLS card, CPR thing. So what I did is I went to Google, search for the CPR um, online first. So what I did there is, you know, I have to pay for it again and then after that i have to study and learn how to do the cpr that cpr online took me three hours it's a three hours um session so um i just did that online but some websites like i think the um go cpr ny also provide some classes in person after the cpr online um you get the questions and when you pass those questions about all throughout those three hours of cpr you'll get your certification and then after that you make an appointment for the cpr training in person the school provided some information who to contact for the cpr unfortunately that was too far away it was like brooklyn and i just don't want to like travel in that long search it up online where like the nearest area to do the cpr training in person so i did and it was the go cpr ny um and they also um like offer it a little bit of um affordable price or lesser price than the the one that was provided for us um it will i paid for 50 dollars because you know so the cpr online and the CPR training are paid separately so that's an, another payment a lot of money again 
after that we just have to um wait for the e-card of the cpr also it is much better experience to do the cpr training in person than the simulation online because you like for me i get to experience this how deep or how long the compressions are and like you know like it's it's good to experience it and it's also um informative because there's an instructor instructor that will um ask you questions also tell you what like the scenario is and something like that so it, it was really helpful and also i did it with my classmate as well and then in between of those tasks or clinical requirements i was starting to um search all my uniform i mean not all um i have to buy my uniform online and also there's a like a deadline because um on the website it takes like four to six weeks to process the order so i you know buy my uniform right away and it already came and um i picked it up um, last week what else um i also started um buying my textbooks so i could like start reading my material when school starts i won't be like so stressed out or be overwhelmed with those information so i have four books in total and i have two classes i have fundamentals of nursing um lecture lab and clinical and then the second one is the pharmacology i have i believe i have lecture and lab as well yesterday um i already printed out my schedule um the one of the faculty members from the program um sent me the schedule for my classes and also where i was assigned and unfortunately my <laughs> my location is so kind of far away it's, um i'm not gonna say where it is but it's an hour away from where i am located so it's it will be a struggle for me it'll be like uh, it'll be like early riser i guess <laughs> i'll wake up like like four or five o'clock in the morning because my clinical starts at eight in the morning and the last two things that i did um, for the clinical requirements were on um, drug tests and flu shots so when when they or um when they emailed us that some pharmacies already offering flu shots we me and my friend went searching which pharmacy that they offer flu shots i completed all my clinical requirements and we're just waiting for more um information um from the hospital that we were assigned i'll show you guys my books in um the next video i will do a back to school school supplies because i really like to do those content so that's all for this update i just want you guys to let you know what i've been up to and why the mukbang q and it took so long to upload um yeah so i hope you guys enjoy your day or night and i'll see you guys in my next video take care and god bless always